Let's just develop the knight. Shall we take the pawn? Yep. Let's just block. Let's attack the king. Take the bishop off the board. Castle. Yep. X-ray through to the queen. And develop the knight inwards. Let's activate the rook. Support the pawn. In readiness for the attack. <laughs> okay, so the queen could come here, attacking the pawn here. Just is going away from our king. Our king's got a bit of company. Let's do that. Gives them something to think about, just for a brief moment. Okay, right. Let's get the knight here. I don't think it's going to do much there. Could do something here. Let's do that. Oh, okay. So he's got things to be sorting out, has he? Right. So we're not going here. We're not going here. Oh, no. Have we trapped our queen? Let's take the queen off the board before we get it trapped up. It's attacking this pawn here. Support with the rook. It's attacking if we take. We can still come round. Could come here, come here. Still got space here. Okay, let's do that. Let's bring the bishop back. Knight's attacking the bishop. What are we missing? Was planning to come here, but he's got like the two knights, so he's going to be attacking our rook or something with this knight, isn't he? Okay, let's bring this here or attack his rook. Let's attack his rook. It's a bit more proactive, isn't it? Bring it back again if he takes. Take with the knight. Okay, there's no point in doing any of this, I don't think. Let's just bring it back. Let's take. Does he still know? It's not because the knight will take. Small, small attack. Is my knight trapped in there if I go here? Yes, it is because it can't go here, can't go here. Can always come back again, I suppose, but it's not doing any of that. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Let's attack the knight. Knight's moved out of the way, so the knight, bishop, our knight can move now, actually. Or do we just let it get taken? Mm -hmm. Let's attack the bishop. Attacking the pawn. And... What's this knight doing? Did have sights of going up here, but there's no point now. I'm actually bringing the knight back around again, because it's not doing anything there gonna take does he take with the rook he's taken with the rook could attack bishop takes pawn comes here it's opening up this pawn do we really want that um could take with the rook yeah take with the rook so it looks like I'm jamming myself in a little bit so he's coming for the pawn. Let's go with this first. Right. That's what we're wanting to see. Let's go here. Let's go here. And shall we take? Check on the king. Take the pawn, attack the rook. Shall we get the king up? He's coming down and going to attack with his rook. Let's go here. He's got the two rooks going to be attacking our rook. Is that going to be any good for them? No. Uh, 
We'll bring our rook here. Our king here. Maybe if we get space, then we can jam him in. Oh, we're not getting any space. So his rook's down the back. Gonna have to bring our rook supporting the pawn. It's coming for this pawn here, so we can't defend that one. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we can. We can bring the rook up here, but then he's just gonna come down for the other one. So this is what we're going to do. Going to go up and then we're going to attack this pawn. Going to continue attacking the pawn. And now we're going to push here. That's his magic square. This is hitting that also defending here if we do attack obviously oh let's take oh and they've left the game why did they leave the game it wasn't really losing quick analysis check i'm losing minus one <laughs> it's amazing how people think isn't it he's got a passer here he's got one two three four we've got one two three four he can come down and get this pawn my rook's struggling coming round ah they had play look at that anyway on to the next one